Welcome to Tooling Up, a series by MSC Industrial Supply Company that provides real-world insights brought to you by leading industry experts and aimed at improving the efficiency and productivity of your operations. Hey everybody, this is Eddie with MSC and welcome to this episode of MSC's Tooling Up featuring Kyocera SGS. On today's episode, we're gonna be featuring one of the top tools in the Kyocera SGS HyperCarb series, the 143 MS. And here to tell us everything that we need to know about this spectacular tool is our good friend from the team at Kyocera SGS, Brian. Let's bring him on in. Hey Brian, thank you so much for joining us on today's episode of MSC's Tooling Up. Before we get started, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do for the team at Kyocera SDS. Sure. So Brian Hamill, I am the Vice President of Product Development here in charge of Catalog Product and our Research and Development Lab Center here, um, also known as a Tech Center. So where we do both customer support in, in applying tools to create uh, cost-effective sales, you know, cost savings for them, and where we do all of our own product development here. Been in the industry 46 years now, and almost eight years of that has been here at SGS. Wonderful. Hey, well, thank you so much for joining us on today's episode. So let's jump right in. When it comes to the 143 MS, there are clearly lots of specific features on this tool, but let's give a surface level review on your opinion. So what do we need to know starting things off, Ryan? So the 143 MS, in particular, the 14 stands for coolant hole. The M and the S stands for the ISO designation of material being stainless steel and high temp alloys. Uh, so the designation, the series 143 MS is a material specific geometry that we've developed uh, and that it's a coolant through tool for that, those kind of applications. No, this looks great. And also we noted earlier that this is a part of your hypercarb series. Brian, what does that mean and why is it relevant with this specific tool? Yeah, so hypercarb, uh, the series of drills, both coolant through and non-coolant through, stands for high performance carbide drills. Uh, we have in the in the series, you'll see there's numbers for different ones, like for example, 135 and 131. Well, the three in that numerical series stands for non-coolant through and the four stands for coolant through. So 143 MS in this instance is for the coolant through version for stainless and high temp alloys. And in the other series, you know, there's like for example, 142P, 141K, so steel and cast iron and so forth. That's how the series uh, is laid out. No, this makes sense. And so when it comes to the 143 MS, what would you say is your standard chip evacuation as well as your coolant strategy? So the shape of the flute in this tool uh, designed to control that chip so that the coolant can evacuate the chip easier. So the coolant is also uh, directed by the additional grind where we join the coolant hole to the flute and it helps direct that coolant up the flute for better chip evacuation and less uh, scratching or scarring of the hole finish uh, on, the, on the evacuation of that chip. Well, very good, makes sense. And as we transition the conversation, we obviously have some good information on the front end, but what really defines the greatness of a tool is the user experience. So when it comes to that and the various benefits that this tool can provide to users, let's talk about potentially the reduction in cycle time. Is this something that can be facilitated by the 143 MS? Yeah, absolutely. Um, in fact, we, we see the, less need for peck drilling. So where you're stepping the depth of the hole in multiple increments, uh, we are able to achieve higher surface footage and one shot drilling is really the key in that cycle time reduction. So yeah. instead of having, for example, um, a spot drill operation that's required and then peck drilling in order to get to depth, this drill and the way it self centers eliminates that need for that spot drill and the shape of the fluid and the way we control the chip via the shape of the chip and the coolant flow 
really helps to eliminate um, all of that peck drilling cycles that's, that was required with some other drills. For sure, reducing those subsequent operations is a huge benefit to end users. Now, with the Hypercarb series having a variety of different tools to offer to the market, how easy is it to select the right tool for your job? Yeah, we try to make that very, very easy for anybody to do, and that's that ISO designation within the series nomenclature, whether it's a 142P for steels, and in this case, 143MS, for the stainless and high temp alloys. So the material and how it behaves, some have a higher level of elasticity than others. And we have to shape that chip differently in order to make the swore for the chip behave properly. And, and that's really the key behind that. So whatever material you're doing, ISO code, and then look at the portfolio in those drills. And it makes it really easy to select which geometry for your given material. Hey, that definitely sounds easy. And now we're going over these specific segments. Let's dive into where this is in the field specifically. Do you have any uh, general examples, if you will, of how this tool truly performs at the spindle in the field? Yeah, so we've had some uh, target, target market segments, if you will, you know, the chemical industry, the food industry, where a lot of stainless steel is used. Um, we have in aerospace, titanium and Inconels that they're machining. Uh, this, this drill, this 143MS, specifically attacks those kind of materials that are used in those market segments. Anywhere there's stainless or high temp alloys, this drill is, is designed to go after that. But in, in particular, those, those market segments are where a lot of this material is used. Very good. So we're going to pull up a real life example. And if you could, Brian, walk us through some of the key points of what we need to know. Okay. So in this case study that we did with this drill, um, I'll point out one other thing that you see here in the color coding, you see the hypercarb has two different colors. So the orange and the yellow, and that has to do with the ISO color codes as well. The M being, um, the stainless steel that's yellow and the hyper part of that being that orange color. And that's the same color coding that uh, the uh, S material group in the ISO category is identified with. But in this particular case, there's a couple of things I'll point out. The customer was using two tools. Um, they were doing a center drill and then they were doing the drill. And the drill was required to do PEC cycles in order to get the chip evacuation correct. And in this case, we went with the 143 MS only, one shot. It probably took longer to get from hole to hole in positioning the machine than it did to actually make the hole. So not only did we reduce cycle time, but we also uh, increased their tool life. If the drill is starting and stopping less frequently, you're inherently you're gonna get better tool life. So shorter cycle time, better tool life, and higher hole quality is what we were able to achieve here. And those bar charts there that you have up there are really describing what that's about in, in you know, whole roundness, whole size consistency, and cylindricity of the hole is really what we're after here. And that helps make uh, subsequent operations much, much less. So maybe we eliminate reaming depending upon the tolerance of the hole. And we've also seen an increase in tool life in capping operations because we're not work hardening that surface of that hole that this, this particular drill produces. Now, this is a great example to really prove how valuable this can be in the field. So for today's episode, we've gone a little bit of everywhere, Brian. So if you could, as we end things out here, give us a quick recap of all the wonderful information that we've covered when it comes to the 143 MS. Sure. So the main the main things here are this is a drill made to a DIN spec 6537 K and L three times and five times. So we offer both. And that's that standard specification and tolerance tables. And that's published in our catalog as well. Um, the the end of the drill and the way the, the centering, the self-centering capability of this drill is uh, we can many times eliminate the need for a starter drill. Um, the whole size, the roundness of it is really um, the way it free machines to produce that hole. 
the margins that are on the tool are specific to this kind of material to reduce the dragging and the scarring of the whole finish, if you will. So it's really all about the whole quality, the shape of the chip and evacuation and the finish that we get in the hole when we're done uh, making that hole. So reduce center drill need, uh, if not eliminated, and the uh, chip evacuation to reduce and or eliminate altogether the peck drilling cycles. A wonderful tool highlighted in a wonderful conversation. So, Brian, for those who are looking for more information on not only the 143MS, not only your hypercarb series, but all the other amazing solutions that you are providing to the market, where can we get more information? Yeah, there's. you can go to the website, mscdirect.com slash SGS, and that information should be there for you. Wonderful. Again, thank you so much for your time, your enthusiasm, and your expertise on this episode of MSC's Tooling Up, featuring Kiyosera SGS. Yeah, thanks much. Want more insights and ideas to improve the efficiency and productivity of your operations? Check out the Tooling Up video playlist to see how we can help improve your operations. And subscribe to our channel so you never miss out.